Each semester, BYU's Kennedy Center hosts guest lectures for students and faculty. Reporter Arielle Harrison looks at why so many are taking the time to attend. Ambassadors, visiting professors, and a baroness. What do all these important people have in common? All are guest speakers who came to visit BYU campus through the Kennedy Center. I think BYU is really unique when it comes to the Kennedy Center. Um, we got a lot of really amazing people who influence the world from all over. We have ambassadors, we've had former presidents come, we've had, you know, foreign service members, um, like all types of people. Um, and I think that it's really important for us as students and people who work at BYU as well to um, broaden our minds and kind of it's always important to get different points of view and kind of get outside of just our bubble in Provo. And we're the most recent visit came from none other than Her Excellency Nirupama Rao, the ambassador for India to the U.S. Her Excellency has been ambassador of India to the U.S. since back in 2011. So she came all the way from India to here in Provo, Utah to discuss U.S. and Indian relations. Ambassador Rao spoke and answered questions that faculty and students had, some of which included counterterrorism efforts, educational opportunities in India, cultural dialogue advice, and the history of the United States' involvement in India. We respect diversity. We celebrate pluralism and we have enshrined and respected the rights of every man and woman and child. The phrase, enter to learn, go forth to serve, is something that many BYU students strive to achieve while going to school and after graduation. Some feel that attending these lectures is just the beginning to achieving that goal. Because our education isn't just here, I think that's the, the purpose of BYU, is to expand our horizons and make the, the world our campus. I've had experiences and I've heard um, from people that I never would have had the opportunity to before, especially just never being outside of the United States. I think if some students, you know, haven't been able to do a study abroad or direct enrollment or something like that, it's another great way to broaden their mind without having to spend a lot of money. To find information on and view past lectures, visit the Kennedy Center's website at kennedy.byu.edu. Arielle Harrison, BYU Weekly.